Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all well. So today we have the new additions into my wardrobe. Um, I thought that I would kind of show you guys what I've recently purchased and some of the new bits that I've received in some blogger mail. But yeah, I'll jump right into it. Um, there are pieces from Urban Outfitters, Zara, uh, Pretty Little Thing, Daisy Street, New Look, and... Yeah, I think, I think that's, oh, and Mango as well. Mango is a really good one. And first up, we have Urban Outfitters. Um, I went into their store yesterday um, before I had, I think I had time to spare before my second meeting. So it was like, I might as well just go and look. <laughs> I didn't expect to buy anything. But yeah, I was looking for like a really dark green bummer jacket and I found one here. I really wanted the one in Zara which is kind of a bit more like a silk bomber jacket but that was £50 and I was like I know I can find somewhere else that will do it for cheaper. Um, the one that I picked up isn't silk but it was definitely cheaper and it's this one. It's super like padded um, silver hardware which is my choice of metal. I really like the zip detail. I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, I just really like the zip detail um, that they have. And then I also wanted it to be really big so I can wear like hoodies and jumpers underneath it. So I got it in a size large and this was £59 down to £30, which I thought was quite good. And the label is light before dark. So the next few bits from Urban Outfitters are bits that I was gifted to wear around London Fashion Week. And this first piece I actually wore, I think, I want to say on the first or second day of London Fashion Week. I think it was the first. It's some vintage Levi jeans, but they have some really cool like hand-drawn illustrations so yeah they have some really cool drawings and words and whatnot on them and i thought it was just really cute and quirky and different this it says waist 29 but i think i just went for like um extra small really good pair of like eating pants as well just so when i go out and when i want to eat a lot because it's not restricting <laughs> so the other two products that i chose for the fashion week were these long sleeve um, tees. I really wanted something that was like really baggy, really comfy and really simple to style so I went for these. First one is just a black one. I'm not sure of this. I think one of these items are actually from the menswear section but anyways I love wearing men's clothes so. Um, so yeah this one is just a basic black one and it just says basketball on the sleeve and it has like a little 23 at the bottom and it just reminded me of like vestments and stuff and the other one I just really like the colour um, and I think the print is also really cool this is from Division Labour and again it's a size large next we have Daisy Street and I only have one item from Daisy Street and it's this green um, midi dress yeah, green midi dress <laughs> and it just has a simple white stripe um, on the shoulder. It's super super soft like pretty much all of their clothes are and I've mentioned before that they're really great to get like loungewear from. Um, they are available on ASOS as well. I got this in a size medium just because I intentionally wanted it to like be one whilst travelling so when I go on the plane or even when I'm like eating it's a really good way of disguising the food baby. Next we have Zara and currently Zara is very very dangerous because everything that they have out is like I just want to buy everything so I have to control myself of either not going into Zara that often or when I do go in don't buy everything which is really difficult. This is one of the first knitwear that I picked up and it's super chunky, super soft really oversized which is perfect. Um, I got this in a size medium just because I wanted it to be extra oversized but I just fell in love with like the stitching detail on the sides. I can't remember how much it was. I think it was probably like 29 99 but 
I mean, Zara knitwear is really affordable anyways. So yeah, if I can find it on the website for you guys, I will leave a link in the description box for you. So the next thing from Zara, I pretty much wore every day since I got it, especially at London Fashion Week. I didn't use any other bag just because I was in love with this one. It is the famous handle bag with gold metal. And yes, it comes with a strap. Although at Fashion Week, I didn't take the strap with me and I wish I did. Um, but yeah, it's a perfect, perfect size. Again, I think this was like 30 or 35 pounds, but I really like this version instead of the Forever 21 um, one, just because this one does have a zip in the middle. This is literally, I think, one of my favourite purchases I've made this year. It's just so, so practical, super handy, and I'm literally in love with this. Next up from Zara is a two-piece which I did again wear at fashion week and I wore them together and separately. The top is like this. It's gingham, love. Just I'm absolutely in love with the sleeve detail. You can tie it to be like a really over exaggerated bow or you can keep wrapping it around and just making it like a shorter smaller bow. And at the back you just have a simple button detail. I got it in a size small. I think I tried on the extra small and it was a little bit restricting. And then this is the matching skirt. It's a mini skirt which I was not used to. I have not worn a mini skirt in years. So I did feel a little bit uncomfortable but it fits really well. And I just really like the fact that it has little, like these little ruffles at the front which makes it a little bit more interesting. I can't exactly remember how much each piece was but I'll leave a link below for you guys but I think together it's probably maybe like I want to say 50 or 60 pounds like for the two items together um but yeah don't don't trust me on that <laughs> River Island also gifted me some bits um to wear over fashion week and this is definitely one of my favorite pieces that I picked up um I wore this on the second day of fashion week and it's this embroidered denim jacket so this is the front and it has like butterflies at the front what else is there oh there's like a little bumblebee on the shoulder which is really cute and this one um says live young oh and a humming a hummingbird oh i'm not really good at animals but i think it's a hummingbird <laughs> and then at the back it says let's run away together um i have a blog post of this outfit coming up really soon so if it's out by the time this video is out I will leave a link to it down below as well so you can see how I style it but yeah I went for a size 16 just because I wanted it to be super baggy yeah everyone really liked the jacket it's very Gucci vibes and if I could you know, own all of the Gucci embroidered denim pieces and the bags, I would. I think this was, I want to say about 80 or 70 pounds for this jacket, but compared to Gucci, this is a freaking bargain. <laughs> Next up, we have New Look. And first item from New Look is this green um, velvet bomber jacket. Yeah, I wore this out to lunch the other day and it was a little bit chilly, but this kept me really, really warm super lightweight and it fits on my body really nicely. I got this in a size 10 just because I wanted it to be just a tiny bit oversized. Um, I usually wear an 8 but the 8 kind of looked a little bit tight and small. Um, but yeah, so I picked this one up. Another item from New Look is the good old green safari shirt. I have one already, I think again that was from New Look. But that one's kind of losing its shape because I wear it so much. I have, I think, like two safari jackets. Um, but I wanted a new one just because I'm going away um, in a few weeks. And I just wanted one that was a little bit more tougher and newer looking. Because the other ones are, like, they're gone. But I can't throw them away because I love them too much. I picked this one up. Got it in a size 14. It was about 20 to 30 pounds. And for a shirt that I wear pretty much like all the time, it's really not that much. <laughs> oh, also from New Look, I also picked up something which 
was a little bit out of my comfort zone but I've seen these around and I really wanted one. So it's this cap with like two pom-poms and it's super cute and I can't wait to wear this like when it gets a whole lot colder. I just think it's really cute and if I ever do go back to Disneyland I'll definitely be taking these with me. So last clothing item that I'm going to be showing you guys is again another winter favourite of mine and it's a good old aviator jacket. This one is from Pretty Little Thing and it's black and brown. I haven't even tried it on yet but it looks super super comfortable. This I got in a size, hmm, I don't know, it doesn't even say on the label what size I got it. But I think I went for like either a small or an 8 or a 10, however that size it works, I can't remember. But yeah, I can't wait to wear this, it looks so cosy. Oh gosh, I forgot to show you guys one more item from Zara, because it was buried in the clothes pile. But um, these are a pair of shoes that I had to go and buy at Fashion Week just because um, one of the events that I went to, it was set at the Ritz and they sent me the dress code like super last minute and you had to wear heels. <laughs> and I didn't bring any pair of heels with me so I went to Zara and I bought these cute fluffy ones. Really comfortable, like I could wear this every day if, if I wanted to. I think these were about... 35 or 40 pounds but I kind of wanted like comfortable heels to wear for the whole evening so yeah these are are great and they are part of the Zara basic collection if I can find them online for you I will link it for you guys so coming to the end of the video is two more bags these are the ones that I picked up from Mango I saw this one on the Mango website and I thought it would be perfect for winter the size is really great to like put my iPad in and stuff um, and it's this shirling black tote it's amazing and it's so soft like every time I take this out and I'm with friends they're always like this they love it really like that the handle is a little bit different and also that it's silver and it comes with a strap. This bag is like a Mary Poppins bag, you can literally fit so much crap in here. And this was £35 or like £35.99. The next bag is also from Mango and it's a bigger in size and a little bit more jazzy. Um, it's totally like Alexander Wang vibes, like he had sandals of these shoes. Is this bag is amazing. So this is a tote and currently it has a lot of my crap in it. Um, the laptop, my diary, charger, makeup bag, headphones, purse, sunnies, like it has so much stuff in there. I just really like the studding detail on the bag. I just think it's really cool. Can't remember how much this was. But again, I'll leave the link to it down below for you guys. Oh, okay. Bloody hell. Okay, that's it. That's, that's all the items I have to show you guys. But yeah, I will see you guys very soon. Bye, guys.